Dad, can I have salmon back now, please? I mean, you can, Cass, but you got to learn to share. Yeah, you tightwad! Yay! I will, Dad, I promise. I'll share him like he's never been shared before. Right, OK, here you go, but you got to be good, OK? I will, Dad. It's wonderful to see you, Simon. Truly it is. Right, OK, but remember to play with him with Crumpet and Daisy as well. Oh, but I thought you meant to share with me, Dad. No, Cass. Well, that wasn't very... Tell me I'm talking. Sorry about that, Father. He doesn't know his place sometimes. James, a naughty little unicorn. Talking about unicorns, didn't you marry him off to another one called Nelly or something? Dad, don't bring that up. It's a very sensitive topic. But the decorum wouldn't go, Mr. Dad. You all right, Cass? Yeah, I'm fine. Thanks, Dave. But it's Simon I'm worried about. Oh, yeah, it's a tragic time for all. Tragic time. What are you on about? Dad. What? You're not being very conscientious, Dad. Honestly, some people... It's OK, Simon. Things will get better. All I asked was about the other cuddly unicorn you married Simon to. Yeah, and we unfortunately lost to Dad. It was a time of great loss and grief. Sorry, I didn't realise you were still mourning the other unicorn, Teddy. No, Dad, silly. It's about 2pm. Days of you, dear. You don't even know what time of day it is, you pal. No, I mean like morning the lot. Oh, never mind. It's OK, Simon. Don't let Dad's words upset you, OK? You know Right, yeah, I did pick up on that, Dave. Oh, Cass, you look so upset. Look how devastated Simon is, Dad. Give him back to me. All right, Cass, well, how can I look at him if you're just holding on to him? Yeah, he looks absolutely distraught, Cass, but I don't really know what to say, to be honest. And you still haven't explained how you lost the other unicorn. Come on, Cass, stay strong to this tyrant. Well, Dad, we were playing one day, and then suddenly... Something terrible happened. Right, okay. Well, what happened? Well, here we go. We were playing an innocent game of Smush Face. You're doing so well, Cosby. Dees, give it a rest. Well, anyway, we were playing Smush Face, and then suddenly Nelly didn't have a head anymore. So you ripped her head off. Simon, don't listen. I did no such thing. <laughs> this is priceless, Dad. I can't listen to this rubbish anymore. Tell him more, Casper, tell him more! I don't really know where to go with it, to be honest. He married another toy to Simon and then ripped its head off and now he's blaming me for not being sensitive. Hey, Cass, did you hear that? Dad said she deserved it! No, I didn't, Daisy. <laughs> Casper, you don't seem that bothered. It's how I grieve. Ridiculous. We are gathered here today to say goodbye to Nelly the Unicorn. Simon, shut up and say goodbye to your wife. <laughs>